I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, please sit for a moment of silence. We're in the process of building a uh, soundproof room. And for me, what I wanted in high school was a place to go to make music. We run away from the scene of the crime, or will we hold on to each other until we're out of time? That we had kids in my classroom who were talking about music and sharing music and experiencing music who, under ordinary circumstances, wouldn't have a whole lot to talk about. Kids, coming to the stage. Coming to the stage. Coming to the stage. You know the A3 house crew. Don't give it a world to stop all that crying. What? Because when they come get in this paper, you know that it ain't right sign. You know. I was born on the side of the mountain. Pretty soon I came tumbling down. Here all along. Good morning, I'm Noah and here are your announcements for Wednesday, May 13th. A note to all students with outstanding cafeteria charges. Please take care of any charges owed before your last day of school. Any seniors that have money left on their account, please see Mr. Ferguson in the cafeteria to receive a form so Albemarle County can refund your money in form of a check sent to your home. Seniors, graduation is just a couple of weeks away. Have you ordered your cap and gown yet? If so, have you picked up your cap and gown? If the answer to either of these is no, you need to see Mr. Hankins in room 133 as soon as possible so you can have a cap and gown to wear at graduation. Mr. Hankins is available before school, during chat, between classes, and after school. The English Honor Society and the Lantern Literary Slash Art Magazine are hosting a Lit Mag release party on Thursday, May 21st at 7 p.m. in the library. Come out to hear some of the published pieces, view the artwork, and listen to the music from the 2015 edition Zeitgeist. This event is free and open to the public. Refreshments will be provided. Recently, Quinn sat down with two special seniors who are on the way to Bright Futures. Here's his report. Good morning. I'm sitting here today with Elijah Rose and Katie Lopez, and they're going to talk about some scholarships that they've won and their other high school accomplishments. Congratulations to both of you for your accomplishments and awards you've received. Can you tell us a little bit about the scholarship that you've won and what it means to you? I received a Dell Scholarship for $20,000, um, ODU Crown Scholarship for $8,000, and the Minor Preston Scholarship for $3,000 a year. Um, this means to me that I'll be going into school with $10,000 guaranteed each year and that half of my tuition will be paid. And I received the Emily Couric Scholarship Award, 
and that's for thirty thousand um, dollars one time and that means to me that I will be able to continue on with my education. It's an exciting transition from high school to college. What challenges are you anticipating and what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to meeting new people and being in a new area. The challenges that I'm probably facing is being homesick and away from my family. I think the most exciting thing about it is just trying to figure out who I am with the atmosphere that we'll be heading to next year. I'll be attending PVCC. So just figuring out how to adapt, uh, as Alicia said, to a new environment and how to learn more about myself and how to get involved on campus and out of campus. And I think one of the challenges would be um, being away from family and trying to figure out how to balance being at another school and work and also your family members and you know how they tie into your life and how to balance everything. Do you have any career goals for your future? What kind of things could you see yourself pursuing in college? Yes, um, I plan to be a registered nurse and I see myself being in the hospital environment, becoming a labor and delivery nurse. And I would like to pursue a career in education, and becoming an ESOL teacher, English as a second or other language teacher, and actually hopefully coming back to this area and teach, maybe Albemarle High School. Both of you are AVID students. Can you tell us a little bit about AVID and how it helped you be successful in high school? AVID is Advancement via Individual Determination, and it, it's a class that preps you for college. Um, ways that's prepped us is by um, giving us note-taking skills on how to take good notes. Um, it teaches you to be organized and to vouch for yourself and be more responsible. Um, well, AVID has helped me be successful in just finding a family group where I fit, and in that sense, finding support for academics or just my social life. Um, we have great AVID teachers, and they're always pushing us harder every day to try our best in everything that we do. So I think just having that support group has helped me be successful in, yeah, academically and socially. Four years ago, both of you were freshmen at Albemarle High School. What advice would you give yourself four years ago to be successful? Um, four years ago, uh, I would have gave myself the advice to study harder than what I used to study. Uh, but other than that, I think I started off really good. I would say get involved with school and and participate in all the opportunities that you're given because I think the sooner that you get involved the sooner that you're able to figure out the things that you like and you don't like and then start planning for your future like what type of career you might want to pursue based on your likes and dislikes so definitely get involved in school and out of school if possible. Thank you to Katie and Alasia for doing this interview with us today and best of luck in college. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And now here's Evan with sports. Baseball beat Orange 5-1. D.G. Archer pitched five innings in relief for the win, while Ryan Porter had a strong night at the plate, tallying three hits and two steals. Girls tennis won 8-1 against Orange in the Jefferson District regular season final. Seniors Madeline Brudgman and Gabby Bassells led the way in the victory. The 11-3 Patriots now enter conference tournament play. That's all for now. Have a great day.